Hello everyone, good morning. So today we will do some more questions related to exercise 3B. I have already completed up to question number 7, I guess. So after that, I will do uh, question number 8 and some more questions will be there. I hope that you are doing well. You are doing more and more questions because the calculation part is not so easy. You have to crack it down, make it faster so that your time will be your time will not be consumed in the examination hall. So without wasting any further time, let's just start exercise 3B with more and more questions. All right, so let's just start our journey by looking at question number eight, that is evaluate each of the following. What is the first question? That is 1.3 whole square. And then the next question is 0 0.05 whole square, right? So what we need to do, the same process will repeat again. Square means the repetition of number twice, right? So we know 13 into 13 is 169. And what is the process that after point, how many digits are there? One and two. So that means 1.69 will be the answer. As simple as that. Let's just move on to our next one. That is 0 0.05. We know 5 square is 25. 5 square is 25. So before that, we will write down 0 0.05 into 0 0.05. So after that, 5 into 5 is 25. We know that, right? So how many points are there after uh, how many digits are there after point one two three four so that means four places one two three and four after that there will be point so that means there has to be two places of vacant position right so we will just fill up that two positions with zero so the answer will be zero point double zero two five right so in the examination don't need to you don't need to write this one right there is no need to mention this type of brackets. I just portray this because to make you understand what exactly it feels like, right? So the answer is 0 0.0025. So that's it for question number eight. So let's just move around to question number nine. All right, so let's just move around to question number nine. Evaluate the, each of the following same process. Here it is cube. So what we need to do is 1.2 into 1.2 into 1.2. So we know 12 square is basically 144. So in between these two multiplication, how many points are there after, how many days are there after points? Two put. Did you, did you understand the methodology? What we need to do is after point, how many days are there? One and two. So we just, we just count from the right. One, two and put one point, right? There is one point after point there has to be one digit there is one digit and after point there is one digit so collectively it will become two one plus one two and we just count from the right in the answer block we just count from the right one and two and put one point that's it right and after that multiply it again 1.2 so 144 into 12 is nothing as 48 4 carry 52 5 carry 65 so 6 5 2 8 so 6, 5, 2, 8. Now you just tell me where should I point? Where should I place the point? After point two digit, after point one digit. So 2 plus 1, it will become 3. And we need to count from the right. 1, 2, 3, put one point. That's it. So that is the answer. So in question number 3, let's just move around. 0 0.07 into 0 0.07 into 0 0.07. Right? So I know 7 cube is basically 343. I know that. 343 three. right so after point how many digits are there 2 2 2 it will collectively become 6 so there is 3 digit so i need to create 3 vacant places so that means 0 0 0 put one point and then another 0 this 0 it is not mandatory to put right to make that uh, answer look lucrative that's why i have put one zero over here that's it right you, you if you want then you can put numerous zeros from this side there is no such big deal but one zero is more than beneficial so that's about question number nine so let's just move around to solve the next question so let's just move around to question number 10 what is question number 10 the cost of one book is given there is a cost of one book i need to find out the cost of two dozens book so one dozen is basically 12 books I know that so how do we write it solution we know one dozen equal to 12 that's it so two dozen equal to 12 into 2 that is 24 right 
here it is given here cost of one book equal to rupees 19.75 right so cost of two dozen books equal to what it will be rupees 19.75 into 24 that's it right so just multiply it 19.75 and then 24 multiply this 4 into 5 20 2 carry 28 30 3 carry 36 39 3 carry 7 and then cross 10 115 119 13 so 0 0 14 1 carry 10 17 1 carry 4 so 4 7 4 double 0 and how many points will be there after point there has to be there are two digits there are two digits so we need to count from the right put one point over here so that means 4 7 4 points double 0 so basically the answer is 474 rupees that's it so that's our question number 10 very easy to do i hope that you are getting what i am actually trying to say so let's just move around the last question of today's video that is that will be question number let's say question number 12. all right so we are coming towards the end of this particular video so the last question of today's session is given that one kg of milk has 0 0.25 2 to 5 kg of fat one thing you might be thinking that milk is how milk is coming under kg right they are talking about the weight of the milk uh, if you just uh, see like the products of let's say amulya britannia they are having what in uh, in the back side you will get to know that they are having some weight 400 grams 500 grams like that way they are talking about that particular type of milk right so here one kg of milk has 0 0.255 kg of fat that is given so how much fat is there in 10.8 8 kg of milk simple question simple question what is given here 1 kg of milk equal to 0 0.225 kg of fat right so they want 10.8 kg of milk contains how many kgs or gram of fat so what we need to do 0 0.225 into 10.8 kg of fat that's it that they want right so just multiply it 0 0.255 no need to write 0 0.225 and 108 multiply it 0 uh, 8 into 5 40 4 carry 16 20 2 carry 16 18 no then 0 0 0 cross cross and then 5 2 2 add 0 0 13 1 4 2 so that means 2 4 3 double 0 2 4 3 double 0 and how many points will be there after points how many digits are there 1 2 3 how many not how many points after points how many digits are there so after point 1 2 3 and there after point only one digit after point there are three digits after point there is one digit so collectively it will become four digits count from the right Z zero that is one two three four put one point kg of fat or finally you can say 2.43 kg of fat same thing right after three you can put numerous zeros whatever you feel like right but the answer is nothing but 2.43 kg of fat i hope that this session is much more clear to you if you found any sort of doubt make sure you do contact me right you need practice uh, one thing that i continuously try to focus that you need practice you need practice you need practice and nothing else right you need to shorter you need to make your time a uh, little bit more what i just say that in examination if you feel that uh, this calculation is very easier for me to do then you can save time that's it that is the meaning of doing practice and nothing else so that's all for today's video thank you and have a nice day